Hi everyone, this is Hippie Chick's mom. This is my fourth vintage jewelry haul. Today, and the past couple days, this is my, um, what I got over the, the last two visits to the thrift store. So this here looks like it is amber. It's really, really gorgeous. See the little pieces? It looks kind of like amber. It's really heavy. But I don't know that much about amber to say, yes, it's amber. No, it's not amber. And it has, It's. I think it's really old. It has the, see? So fish hook. The older ones have the fish hook clasp, but it's very heavy here. It's very heavy, and it's gorgeous. All these different colors of. It looks when I looked in here with the light shining, it looked crystallized. So I don't think amber has crystal, like crystallized. So maybe it's like some type of crystal. But it's really, really, it's gorgeous. And I do say that is antique. Okay, here we go. There's another one. It's like pink and white. A little bit of green tone. I think it might be. I have a black light. And when you put a black, you turn the light off and you put a black light on these color beads like this. They, if they have the uh, Vaseline, they call it Vaseline glass. You, it has uranium in it. So like a long, long time ago when they made the beads, they actually put uranium in it. And so when you put on these light color beads, if it has uranium in it, you put the black light um, on it will turn a neon green a neon yellow. It's insane. It's really fun um, I got one I got a Vaseline Antique Vaseline necklace. It was on a rope it was um, Probably about a hundred years old. I restrung it and sold it. I got by the way. I got it for a buck I was so happy and it was big, chunky, melon-shaped beads. And then when we turned the light off, it glowed really light green. But anyway, this might be... My battery died, so I can't check it. So it's got a fish hook glass. If not, it's just like a glass bead. I don't know. I'm still learning. Doing this a long time, and I'm still learning. This here is my prize for today. I love it. Look at that. So, Native American, they look like... They look like turquoise and silver. Turquoise and silver. And I was so excited when I seen them. And I look at the back because I think they're turquoise and they're, they, they have a tarnish. You see this here? Silver can be real pretty silver, bright silver color. And if it's real silver, it will tarnish all the way to black. Now this has a tarnish on it. But it is not, it, it is not marked 925. It is marked Alpaca, Mexico. And you see the back did the same too. I suspect it might be silver plated. And maybe the turquoise looking stones are maybe like some type of inlay. I don't know if they're real or not. But for 50 cents. I will take them. So, that's my special find for today. This here, I think it's Hanor beads. 
Hanor, like a freshwater bee. Like a fresh for I'm sorry, freshwater pearls. And Hanor is like a name brand. They sell them like on um the HQ shopping. You know, they sell the brand of the Hanor. Hanor. H O N O R A. But it has the really nice clasp. It's a screw clasp. I like these. What I was told is when the jewelry is really a higher quality that it will have this kind of um, class, screw class. And I could be wrong, but that's what I was told. Let's see. There we go. So. It's really pretty. It's like a a gray, like a very not like a very light silver, light silver color, and they're really nice, really, 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 really nice. Now I got this whole lot. Um, it says. That. I already sold some of them, but it says on here, <clears throat> made in Hong Kong. So, I think this is very old. It's like, they call it NOS, New Old Stock. In other words, it's all old stuff, but it's never been used. And they call this Italian horn. An Italian horn. But they don't, I don't think they make them like this anymore because see this? I think you could use it for a deadly weapon. It's really sharp and pointed. But I believe they're all jade and I think this has some coating of real gold on it. Now I don't know what this one is. There's another one. But that's my good find for today too. Um, here's another one I got today. And my favorite thing to get to find is brooches. I love brooches. Pens, brooches. So this is a set of white and black enameled brooch pens. It, you see right here? He's got a blue eye, but he don't. So, still, really nice, nice. The wings are open, and he's just ready to fly. But he's missing his eye. And as you see on the back, it says Jerry's. So, Jerry's is another costume jewelry maker. Here's the baby. He's so cute. Look at his eye. Look at the blue. He's so cute. Cute, cute, cute. So. If you ask me, the older costume jewelry makers are a lot more better than the newer ones. It's more quality. This here, I can't make out the name. Burgess or Burgess. But I looked it up. And it's a pretty expensive item. So it's like all the Easter pastel colors. Glass beads. So they're like really gorgeous. See that? So this would be nice for Easter. So. I got this all together. I have not had a chance to look at it. But. It looks like a charm. Is it a charm? It's a charm. A charm that's stuck. Let me see. There we go. So, this lot came together. All this came together in a bag. 50 cent. So, it's a pendant. Independent. 
and it has charms. A, it's a flower, sewing machine. It has a face, has a head, and an airplane. And here's a pair of earrings. Clip earrings. Nice gold. Too bad they're not solid gold. Let me see. No, they're not even marked, and they're really nice. Look at that. They're really nice. That looks like real gold to me. And these are a pair of earrings. And they're made by Trafari. So they have a tag on there, Trafari. Trafari is another um, vintage jewelry designer and um, some of their things are more higher end they have something called I think it's called the crown trafari and can be very collectible wait a minute wait a minute it does have a name oh no yeah we know this this is trafari I th thought I was still looking at the other one oh wow Nice. Nice. Nice dangling. Clip earrings are still in. People still wear clip earrings. Look at these. They literally pop open. So I'm talking to my grandson. Well, my grandson calls me and he says... Mom, I mean, my, so my grandson calls me, my grandkids call me mom, because I was really young, so I said, you're not calling me grandmom, you're calling me mom, so they called my mother my mom, they called me mom, and they called their mommy mama, mama, mom, mom, okay, tongue tied myself, let's see, my mother was my mom, I'm mom, and their mom is mommy, and my grandson said, Told his dad, he said, Daddy, Mom's got a YouTube channel. And so he's giving me advice. This little boy that lives on YouTube, he's giving me this advice. And he said, tell Mom to only be on YouTube for 15 minutes because after that, they will get bored. That's <laughs> something else. So this video, number four, is for Mason and Dominic, my grandsons. So this is an Avon bracelet, and it's really pretty. Look at that. But it's missing one charm. I think it's missing a charm. It looked like it was missing a charm. There we go. It's blue and pink. There we go. So we got the blue. And where was the pink? The pink. The pink is here. So blue and pink. Here's a telephone, an owl, a vase. And why would they have a fire? A fire. Something to do with the firehouse there. Who's thing? Who knows? Who knows? So I got this clunky thing. And, um, so I try to read up a little bit on jewelry and try to learn. And they said that big jewelry is in. So, in other words, like, really big, um, I mean, look how big it is. Look. This would be what they would consider this to be is a statement necklace. So, look at that. And then, well, I'm trying. So, this is my fourth video, guys, and 
I'm learning. I'm learning to camera. I'm doing my best, and I will get better every time. But for one thing, I have all the jewelry. I find the jewelry. I hunt for the jewelry. I love that. That is my hobby. I enjoy it. And if you want to see some good jewelry, so far what you've seen is really nice. I like to think so. This here is Chico. So, it's Chico's. Chico is another fashion jewelry designer. They also make clothes, really nice clothes. So, this would be considered a larger necklace, a statement piece. So, it's got heavy metal pieces with a fabric around it. So, this is a substantial heavy necklace. Here's another one. Another necklace. This one is tangled up. Now, I got the jewelry bags, and I didn't do, do too good. So, the big hype right now is getting um, value, um, what's the name of it? Um, the thrift stores, um, Value Village or Goodwill, and getting these bags. I haven't got anything. I get duds every time. So, um... I don't think it's worth, for what I got so far, maybe one out of 20 bags, you might get a piece of gold or a piece of silver. Um, but I have it. I haven't. And so, anyway, I'd rather go to the thrift stores, um, like church thrift stores, or like community thrift stores. I think you're going to find your better deal because they're trying to raise money for, like, the volunteer fire department or for the hospital or... They're trying to raise money versus, you know, there's other places, you know, these are all run by volunteers. Other places, you know, they charge and make up, make money. So this is New York. That's another fashion, high fashion, high quality fashion designer. New York. New York. New York, New York. It's a wonderful town. New York is awesome. I've been to New York quite a few times. I used to go to Chinatown all the time. And go for Chinese food. I've been everywhere. And one time I took the, the train. And I got on the wrong side. Don't ask me how to. I sat on the wrong side. It felt like 120 degrees down there. And after a couple of hours I realized somebody told me that. Um, you, you know you're on the wrong side. Gotta get on the wrong side. It was hot down there. And that day I, I went to Long Island. I parked my car at the ferry in Long Island. Took the ferry to downtown Manhattan. And then went up to Chinatown. That way you beat all, you know, the traffic going into the tunnel. This way you don't have to go into the tunnel. I think the Lincoln Tunnel... And then um, you go over the bridge, takes you to Long Island, and you can park there and take the ferry. It's a really cool ride, too. If you want to go to New York. And so these are black, gray beads. It's really nice. So, here's another one. So, it's... uh. Gold tone, and it's a lady, like from the 1900s, 1800s. It's like her face with big curly hair, one giant hat, and it's like um, I think they would call it a bust. Look how pretty that is. That's real. Look at the details. <clears throat> this is called. Let me see if I can get it right. Reposé. Might be saying it wrong, but repose jewelry happens when <clears throat> they stamp a design. They stamp the design into a piece of metal. And I could be wrong, 
but I think it's called Reposé, something like that. But this is really nice. Nice long chain. It's really nice. Reposé. Okay. Now we have like <clears throat> multi strand. <clears throat> Multi strand. I think this is kind of old. And it has all the only five, five or more strands. And see that? It has a clasp. There we go. See? And so you just slip it. See the hole? So then you just slip it back in. And it has a little lever. See the little lever? Slip it back in and it kind of locks in place. And no, it is not signed. A lot of times when you're looking for jewelry... And you want to find the signature, you look on the side. Like here on the side. If you don't see it on the back, you don't see it on the clasp, you don't see it on the top, you can see on the side. It's really lightweight. But it's kind of bigger, but it's lightweight. And last but not least, not least, uh, look, I'm tongue tied again. This is a, it says Trifari Trademark. Trifari. Trifari Trademark. And it looks like pink glass beads. Really nice. That's a massive necklace. Two strands. Has two strands. Looks like little mini hot dogs. Sorry about that. There we go. I will improve my camera. I will try to, I will learn this if it kills me how to do this YouTube. But this is my fourth video, so bear with me. And I hope that you will subscribe and you will like my video. That will be awesome. So we got one more. This is glass beads with little silver spacers. Kind of looks like crystal. A bit like crystal. It is not fine. It's really nice. So that's it for today, guys. Gals. Um, like I said, if you can subscribe and like my video it will it can only get better and um that's it and uh have a great week see you next video bye bye